Today on the show, we're going to be talking about acupuncture wellness services, and we are at the beautiful home of Dr. Nicole. How are you today? Good to see you again. Thank you, Donna. Doing great. How are you? Good. So we've been able to um, share a few different segments, do a, a lot of different education and also entertainment because mm -hmm. I find you very jovial and super funny. <laughs> um, but today I want to learn a little bit more about the technology behind acupuncture. I don't exactly understand it. There's a lot of myths about it. And how do you describe it? Sure, that's a great question. So we do a blend of traditional acupuncture techniques and we blend it with a lot of modern style techniques too. So acupuncture alone works on harmonizing your body by stimulating certain acupuncture points in different areas of your body to make your brain and your body function better. But we blend that with other things too, like frequency specific microcurrent. Um, we have techniques called Nambujapod's allergy elimination technique. We do a whole array of um, modalities that we blend together to make one complete cohesive treatment. It sounds lovely. It reminds mm -hmm. me of a TV commercial when I was a kid where there was a woman in the bathtub and she was like, oh, take me away. You know? Calgon. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's exactly it. Take me away. Yes. And is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to help bring wellness through relaxation almost? Do you know that that's um, a huge part of how acupuncture works? Acupuncture puts your body into what is called as a parasympathetic dominant state. Hmm. So we're most of the time, especially here in New York, in a fight or flight situation. Our sympathetic nervous system is overcharged. Well, what acupuncture does, it puts you in a parasympathetic state, which is rest and digest. Instead of fight or flight, you okay. can go into rest and digest. And what happens is when you're in rest and digest, your body can heal. Sitting next to you, wait, give me your hand for a second. Mm -hmm. Sitting next to you, I already feel that magic. Good. I'm not kidding. You're right. My whole entire life, it's like that. Yes. It's constant go, constant go. I told you, I just got off of a road trip. Yeah. And like, I think maybe if I would have come to you before I went, Mm -hmm. driving for four days and now back, that would have helped me. Absolutely, and you know, it, I don't know what journal this was um, uh, reported in, but they say more than 80% of our health problems are directly due to stress. So it is a huge thing to treat our body's response to stress. We can't change stress. We're stressed. Everyone's got things to do, places to go. But what we can do is we can change the body's response to the stress. That's where acupuncture comes in. And also people that are going through um, relationship changes, divorce, Huge. things of that nature. Remember years ago, I went to work with a massage therapist, mm. but it's only because I also didn't know that this existed. Yeah. So the acronym on your, um, your scrubs Doctor are? Doctor of Acupuncture in Chinese Medicine okay. and Licensed Acupuncturist. So I got the highest degree that you can get in this country for acupuncture, which is my doctorate in acupuncture and prescribing Chinese herbal medicine. Lovely. Yeah. When you sought this out as a profession, what made you go into it? Was it the yeah. culture? Like, what was your yes to yourself? So that is such a great question. I love answering this question because I was in college. I went to Binghamton University and I was pre-med. So I always wanted to go to medical school. I love science and I love people. But my parents had gotten into a pretty severe car accident and my mother was bedridden from sciatica pain. The only thing that ended up helping her was acupuncture. And so as I was studying for the MCAT, which is the entrance exam for medicine, uh, my mother was cured of her sciatica pain from an acupuncturist. My goodness. That's when I put my books down. I said, I need to study this. Fast forward, other family members had, one of my family members had ulcerative colitis. And before, thank God, she was going to have her colon resectioned. The technique that we do here, I had to learn in California that actually saved her from having that procedure done. And to this day, over 20 years later, still has no intestinal problems. That's just yeah. a miracle in itself. Yeah. I mean, Dr. Nicole, that's very, very powerful. And I'm sure you have many success stories yeah. with many different patients. Yeah. How does that feel when that happens, when somebody comes back to you and you know they share with you like that you changed their life? Yeah, I'm, I, I feel very blessed that I've been given this ability to do this type of work and especially helping family and friends. And then uh, most of my patients literally become my friends and family as well. As you can see by my staff, we love everybody that comes in. You've met some of our patients 
and um, it's a real honor to help people get well naturally. Well, yeah. I know that this is a place of wellness because you have plants that are alive. Yes. So, like, you have actual plants, right? Not everybody can keep a plant alive. So if yes. you have all this beautiful greenery around here, chances are you're keeping the people alive too, yes. which is good. Which is good. That's just, it's the little things that I've noticed over the years, Dr. Nicole. Like, So I walked in and I was like, oh. It's nice here. They have real plants, which means that you're watering them and you're giving yes. them care. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that same love and attention goes into all your patients. I was also surprised to know that you also work with babies. Yes. So how can, how are you able to help babies? That's um, one of the things we love working with the most is babies and children. So acupuncture, as you know, uses little fine needles that are surgical stainless steel. They're disposable. But with babies and children, we can actually do the same treatments with acupressure. Mm. And it's because the points for babies and children are so active and open, it's very easy to influence them. For adults, we need more help. So that's why <laughs> acupuncture is more effective. <laughs> yes. But for babies and children, we use acupressure. And children and babies love to get treated because it feels good to them. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. What is a typical session? So a typical session is someone comes in, they're greeted by my front desk, they're asked if they want water, hot or cold, if they want a snack, and they wait to be put back in a room. Once they come back into a room, they can lay down and relax. We usually have a lot of beautiful music going on, the tables are heated and adjustable, and they just wait for us in a relaxed state. We then come in as practitioners, we ask them how they did from the treatment before, and depending on how they do, we will do an energy test on them and decide which energy sample we might want to use in that treatment. For example, okay. if someone's coming in because they have a hormone imbalance, we can use hormone energy samples. They're not actually hormones, it's just the energetics of influencing your hormones. Or if they feel like their immune system is run down, we'll use immune system energy samples. The patient holds on to the energy sample and then we massage their back, give them a full acupuncture treatment and they rest for 20 minutes holding on to the sample along with the acupuncture in their body. Wow. They're listening to soft music, they're blanketed with a mylar blanket that's theirs to stay when they, you know, when they come here and then 20 minutes later we come in and we release them from treatment. That's the treatment. Hold on just a second. Okay, who's ready to come here? Because I'm ready to do this right this second. Um, <laughs> stay tuned, because because there's more. But aren't you feeling that? I'm totally feeling it. So it seems to me that this is something that somebody could like test, onboard. You'll walk them through the process, and they there's really no reason to be afraid. No, there's no reason to be afraid, and we have many now doctors, nurse practitioners, dentists that send to us, and what they tell their patients is what I tell patients is. Give it 10 to 12 treatments, Okay. see how you do. By then you'll know if we're budging you towards the way of wellness or not. Nine times out of 10 we are. The more chronic something is, of course, the longer it takes. But usually within 10 to 12 treatments, someone has an idea that we're helping them. Beautiful. Yeah. What else do you do here that I would want to share? Yeah. Because you do so many different things too. We do. So we treat a lot of, it's really more the conditions that we treat that are interesting because the modalities we use are all used to help a particular condition. So the typical conditions that we see are insomnia and sleep disorders, children with ADD, ADHD, or autism, um, digestive disorders like what one of my family members had, asthma and allergies, hormone imbalances, immune system dysregulation. Uh, those are the main, and of course pain, headaches, migraines, shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain. But um, that's the main focus that we have here in the practice. It's just full body wellness. Lovely. And yes. do you have people here on your team that also can help you? Oh, yes. Good. Because yes. that's important. So one of the things that's really cool about this office is both of the acupuncturists that are on my team, there's three of us, both of them were former acupuncture patients of mine. Really? That did so well with treatment. They then, one of them was in her career. She was an occupational therapist. She stopped her career after 20 years went to acupuncture school and she works here with me. Her name is Jen. Lovely. And the other one, she was an asthmatic, literally couldn't be outside at any time during the spring or the fall. And now she's outside, she can mow her lawn, she could run around without a problem because it cured her asthma. And the other uh, acupuncturist we have is Brienne and she was with me for other things for stress and anxiety and things like that. Did so well that she went to acupuncture school.
So I started acupuncture when I was 23 years old. I had horrible asthma that was all year round. There was no seasonal allergy for me. As I got older, it got worse. I also had asthma chronically, um, which ensued multiple medications, multiple hospital visits. I was sick all the time. I was constantly congested, tired, um, looked terrible, felt terrible, asthma attacks. I actually used to black out from being outside as I got older. Hives, you name it. I saw it, touched it, looked at it. I was allergic to it. So that's how I started. I met someone who had allergies as bad as me. And I saw them one day and they sounded great. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, acupuncture. Called the next day, made an appointment. And I've been receiving acupuncture for 20 years, over 20 years. I never stopped getting treatment. Uh, after the first month was the best I felt my entire life. And I remember turning to the practitioner and saying, I'm gonna do that one day and it was just the most incredible thing I ever experienced. Uh, I tried everything, allergy shots, I had my nose cauterized, my septum repaired, every medication, nothing helped. Uh, the acupuncture was the only thing that treated that root cause of my illness for me. And as the allergies improved, the asthma improved, and I was off all my medications over time. So that's how I started. I'm very fortunate and blessed to have been a part of it. And now I'm a practitioner, so I was an occupational therapist for 20 years and then transitioned over to being an acupuncturist. This is one of my favorite people. <laughs> Kathy, how long have we been working together for about? 10, 12 years actually, for mm -hmm. steadily to, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. And um, what would you say is one of your favorite parts about getting treated or what you've seen in your health? Oh my gosh, a dramatic difference. I came in here at times so distraught emotionally, mentally, physically, um, all kinds of things going on from uh, grief to pretty serious illnesses, heavy metal poisoning. Um, right. Yeah, I just, my body just was shutting down, to be honest with you, and I had nowhere else to go. And I came, found this, found Nicole, and I haven't stopped coming because I'm still alive. I'm not supposed to be here right now. Yes. <laughs> and I'm functioning mm -hmm. and my brain is coming back, which is even better because the metals definitely took a little piece of that away from me. Yeah. So um, I doesn't matter what I'm doing and whether I can afford it or not, I make a major effort to come here. She does, be you do. Because it, it is life changing. It has really changed my life dramatically. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you all these years. I love you. So I love you too. They're awesome. The office is amazing. Wait till you see how comfortable and just serene and just, ah, oh, you just want to stay here. It's beautiful. The colors, everything. Well, thank you for having me here. I had a really great time and you never know, maybe, you know, I might want to learn a bit more or at least definitely come in and have a full body treatment. Yes. I could use it. I know that your techniques would completely change my life. So. I'm ready, head to toe, fingertip to fingertip, take me away. Um, <laughs> I've been visiting with Dr. Nicole. And if you would like more information, please go to their website, give them a call. If you want to start your own practice in anywhere around the world, please give Dr. Nicole a call because she's so inspirational and I'm sure she'd inspire you too. Be well. <laughs>